Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. Today we have PB and J Otter. Otters? Ot Otter. PB and J Otter. This is a uh, two, what, 1998 to 2003, three seasons, about 65 or so episodes, 4-3 uh, aspect ratio, classic cartoon, uh, before everybody got wide screens and stuff. Um, this is an animated series, definitely for the little little kids. Uh, before there was like a Disney Junior kind of thing, but it was on the Disney Channel. Uh, but yeah, this is very very focused on preschool age kids for the most part. Uh, it's about three little little siblings here: that's Peanut, Baby Butter, and Jelly. Uh, the three of them live in a houseboat with their parents, and there's two episode two stories per episode, doing that split. Uh, story episode kind of thing, uh, as is really common with the low attention span toddlers and, and preschool kids that usually would watch this kind of thing. Uh, some of you might have grown up on this. It's old enough now. Uh, it's 25 years old since it started. Uh, so yeah, um, you might remember this growing up, but yeah, it was, it was after my time. So I was certainly not a child at that point. So I have never seen this before. Uh, but yeah, it's uh it's it's definitely cute it's pleasant it's uh nothing there's no loud noises or fart jokes or anything else that i that i've seen so far it's sweet it's uh it has a family that c clearly loves each other and uh neighbors uh who care about each other the kids uh there's a little surprise happening uh in the very first story the first episode but somebody finds out. Mom tells one person, and then some other people get a little suspicious about what the secret is. And when somebody finds out, they can't stop telling everyone else, except for the kids. And the kids get kind of suspicious because, well, nobody's talking to them. Nobody's hanging out with them. The kids are getting together, but away from them. And they start to get a little hurt by it all. And they're wondering what's going on. And so they decide to investigate themselves. And usually when uh, it comes to a point where uh, they have to figure something out, um, I, I realized after seeing both stories, I don't know if this is something that happens in every story, in every episode, but at least in the very first one, whenever they need to figure something out together as a group, they decide to do the noodle dance. It helps them think. Just do a little dance, whatever, and suddenly an idea usually comes to Jelly, uh, and it's pretty preposterous. And then Peanut goes, oh, "How about how about this? It's a little bit more realistic." And she's like, "Ah, that, that would have been my second choice." Sure, sure, Jelly, sure. Baby is pretty much up for anything, and uh, yeah. So <laughs> they they usually uh, figure something out, and of course, there's, there's the big surprise is nothing that's too traumatic or anything else. Uh, it's actually very beneficial to the kids. Um, but we get a little tease of what it could be, and it sounds like they're going to move. And what does that mean? And so, like, the very first episode is called Bye Bye PB&J. For a pilot episode, verse story, Bye Bye PB&J usually would not be the title. That would be the last episode of a series. But uh, it's a little trick, a little fun thing. Again, uh, if, if you want to see some old-school animation... I don't think there's any, like, 3D elements to this at all. Like, you know, just, it's it's no digital elements to it. It's pretty much your standard broadcast. It's still kind of, it has a kind of rough, uh, pulled off of VHS or broadcast and television type of, uh, from broad, copied from tape kind of thing. Uh, so it has kind of a really rough feel to it. It might be something uh, that's might be interesting to see for those of you who uh, like that older type of animation. Uh, but yeah, it's not, it's not for me. It's not going to be something I'm going to watch any more of, but that's because I do not have a very small child to watch it with. If a little small child wanted to watch it and I had to be in the room, absolutely go ahead and watch this. It's, it's pretty innocuous and it's cute. So yeah, it's not going <laughs> to, there's some, there's a lot of children's programming out there that for adults, it can be pretty grating. It can be pretty just, uh, it's just annoying to watch. This is, this is not the case. It's, yeah, it can be repetitive and it's simple, but again, it's, it's meant for children. <laughs> they do not like a whole lot of deviance from the, uh, the standard format, let's just say. If they are something that they can see over and over and over again, 
Well, guess what? You, if you're a parent, you already know this. I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. So, yeah, uh, that's that. So uh, that's all I can really say about this. Let's pick tomorrow's episode. 278. 278. Man, we're not really having to scroll far. Oh. We have a short... After so many documentaries and movies, and well, we did have a, a show right here, a, 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 just a very short show. We have a short, uh, one of those classic ones uh, from 1942. We're going to be watching Pluto Jr. Uh, Jr. has a, I mean, sorry, Pluto has a son? Well, we'll find out. Must be pretty old by now since it came out in 1942, but Pluto Jr. is what we're watching next on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow with that.